wet mop, mop, 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 wet mop, put that shit on the mop. Mop, 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 what it do, broski? It's your main man, Davey, Matt Fly Two Wise. Back in the mob museum with, of course, a whole nother banker, broski. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, down goes Razor. Y'all already know we gotta get him back in the mix real quick. Check this out, broski. And now that Razor is back in the mix, man, I ain't gonna show y'all the box and all the extras. Y'all know what's up with the off white box. Perforations going along the lid, you know what I'm saying? You can lift it up, see through, transparent, whatever the case may be. This is just another pad that's passing through. Shout out to my brother Frey for dropping them off for the visuals. But yeah, legit check away, bro. They solid, trust me. I would hope to God my brother Frey wouldn't set me up and drop no facts off in the mob museum. That with the top of the lid of the box. Let's get a little zoom action going so y'all can check out the literature that's on the tag. Bang! And let's bust it up, broski. We got the Air Jordan 1 Off-White NRG. Men's size 12, a women 13 and a half, UK 11, Euro 46. <laughs> All the extras. And the colorway is white, dark powder blue and cone. Suggested retail price, 190. Oh man, oh man. And there go a retail sticker. You know what I'm saying? On the right side of the box, you can peep that out. See what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, man. And unfortunately, I done heard that, like, they're finna stop the Off White series, man. This last upcoming off-white shoe is supposed to be the last one. But yeah, man, that's that's wild. Like, I ain't even get to get one. This one I'm showing y'all, not even mine. I wish it was, but it ain't. <laughs> Zoom it back out, you know what I'm saying, and let y'all check out that clear paper that's on the joint with the words and literature on the paper. Off-white, Nike, all that good stuff, man. But fuck all that, broski. Let's hop into the kicks, dawg. Got the left shoe. Bang. Here go the right shoe. I'm gonna let y'all check out the innards on the box. You know what I'm saying? It look like it's a paper divider in there. Oh, and that came for cream. Cream in Norfolk. So y'all already know these legit. All right, I know where they come from now, so no need to legit check. Y'all chill. But we still gonna hit them with that mob like in the club review. So y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be towards the end of the video. But yeah, man. These right here, though, broski. Dead sexy. Dead sexy. Dead sexy. Y'all know I'm a UNC native. And this one was actually my favorite in the Jordan 1 Outright series. I know a lot of people either put the Chicago's at number one or even the Euros because the exclusivity of that release. But uh, for me, me personally, these are uh, Potter Blues. Yeah, they do the trick for me. Down goes the rock. <laughs> Hello, let me get my dog back in the mix, man. Damn. Yeah, and we back though. Damn, that was a weak ass snap too, but let me try to. Line these big ass shoes up on this turntable so we don't knock the pops off. You know y'all thinking, what are laces? What are extra lace bags? They on the inside, man. <laughs> Here go one of them. Um, came with some whites. Hold on. Let's check the shoe out first. Well, I'm sitting here playing with laces, man. Started with the outsole. Nike, yeah, dead in the arch. Typical, nothing fancy or special there. We get to this midsole, and it looks to be sale. This feels weird as hell. The heel feel crazy, bro. This is my first time holding an off-white Air Jordan 1, so. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take it in and review it for y'all at the same time. I don't need to review it. I know y'all seen plenty of them, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to take it in, what I'm seeing. 
Got these blue stitches right here. Hey. <laughs> and look, you see what the place of the swoosh would be? And there go that line. Everybody be talking about that motherfucking controversial line. It's lining up right where the swoosh would be. Boom, right dead on it. That's crazy. Off white, trademark for Nike. Air Jordan in quotation. With Air Jordan 1 in quotations. Beaverton, Oregon, USA. You know what I mean? See? 1985, man. You know it got the detached collar with the 85 on the joint. Oh, that's exposed right there. I didn't know it had like this jacket cut or that jacket finish right there, though. I haven't watched many reviews of the off white ones, to be honest. And you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can tell. I doubt if I'm regurgitating anything else from anybody else's videos because I honestly haven't watched many. I was mad because I ain't get a pair, bro. <laughs> when I watch other people reviews or other sneaker reviews, it's mostly when I get the shoes. So I be watching to try to see if our opinions and thoughts line up. Unless it's just something I know I ain't going to get then. Yeah, I buckle down and watch the reviews then. But like for shoes that I got a shot for and I ain't got myself, I kind of stay away from reviews. Man, this is crazy though. This shit's hard, man. That little jacket hit right there definitely catching me off guard. And I love the Nike air tag and to the side. That's just dope as hell. Exposed foam, of course. Got some blue laces in here as well. Nike air down in there. <laughs> Yeah, you got the size and tag. What's the production dates on these joints? 12, 19, 17. They got finished with them. March 28th, 18. So yeah, these took, what, about three months? Three months and a couple of weeks to produce or make. Oh, shit. <laughs> I done tossed out the lace bag. But let's grab this other one real quick just to see if the lace is in there. And well, no, I ain't even show y'all the zip tie. That's the goofiest part about these shoes, though. It's a damn goofy ass zip tie. Off white. CO Nike. Zip tie. Like, <laughs> that shit is weird to me, but. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Not trying to drop Razor <laughs> again. I ain't no more laces in this joint, and. Yeah. Check them out, check them out. Give them a quick little 360 in my hand. Ain't nothing too special or crazy. Well, these shits is special and crazy. I'm lying. Like, these shits hard. <laughs> I really, really, really wish I had a pair, man. Damn. But finish up the 360. And we're going to get into that mob light in the club review, man. And I got two more shoes in that bag over there the um reflective yeezy 350s came in and Frey wanted me to like do a comparison and put that in the clear light on them jumps too so yeah y'all stay tuned man bang and we back man y'all already know how it's going you be david on deck with that in the clear review now my personal opinion if i had an all white them shits will not see nobody's club. <laughs> nah, would not be partying in them. You fucking crazy. But this is what they would look like in the club, man. And a couple things to check for. You see how this foam lit up on that jump? Get it away a little bit. The foam got like a little yellow tint going around the outside. Of course, the light is activating all of the white. So, the white part on the side panel should definitely be super lit up see all the threading going throughout the uppers of the shoe super lit up you know what i'm saying hey that cone hit super lit up y'all see them perforations man a little bit barely it's dead though <laughs> outsole like that going on lateral side See, look, the lateral side is more purple. It ain't super lit up like this outside in the toe box. And the tongue, of course. The lateral side kind of chill. 
You know what I mean? And pretty sure both shoes are the same, same thing. But look up under there though. That's something to peep. See how it's a little white up under that jump, like right behind the heel counter. It get lit. Barely, just a little speck behind there. But yeah, man. Just a couple of things to look out for when you grab your mob light. Even if not to legit check the shoe, bro. It's just fun as hell to put these lights on the shoe. <laughs> it look pretty. So yeah, man, make sure y'all grab y'all uh, UV black light flashlight. It's your boy, Young UV Davey, Matt Fly Two Wise. <laughs> About to check out, man. I don't know if I gave all my OGs, youngest day ones, and new members like a shout out, but they go right there, man. Little air last one of y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm solid, man. If a nigga ain't got a story, they'll make one. So please do not believe no lie that you ever heard about me. From my family, yours, broski. Peace, man. For real, like, peace. <laughs> On the mark.